Hello, my dear friend. Welcome back to my channel. This is Junie's Plan with Me. And for some of you who are new here, I make two bullet journal every month. One with pop-up design for myself, and this is the black and white version I set up for my husband. So this year, I'm planning to do all year movie theme for him, and this month, I pick love as the topic. Thank you for everyone who gave me suggestions on the Instagram, and the final winner was voted by my Patreon members, which is House Moving Castle. I know last month we were already did Studio Ghibli theme My Neighbor Totoro, but here again another movie made by Miyazaki, and I'd love to share this amazing masterpiece with you today. By the way, I review the theme for the next month Bujo set up at the end of this video, so please watch until the end and tell me which movie is in your mind. To begin with, let me write down the month title of February with the font that was used on the movie poster, and I believe it's called Albert's font. If you're interested, as for the supplies I'm going to use today, I'll also leave the information and links in the description box down below. Under the title, I used the month stamp to make a mini calendar, and I'm sure a lot of other Bujo YouTuber have mentioned how satisfying it is to have exact four weeks in this month. Then on the right page, I'm going to challenge myself to draw this massive castle, as you already saw the thumbnail of this video. First of all, I want to mention that the purpose of bullet journal is to let it help you organize your life better. No need to feel pressure and think that you have to make it pretty or perfect. It's just my personal preference to always have some art in, and this time I just want to try something challenging but fun. Maybe I shouldn't call this episode "Plan with Me," considering it's a little bit hard. But I also prepare other ideas for the following pages, so I hope you don't mind me making this cover page a little bit complicated. Maybe grab a cup of tea, sit back, and enjoy watching and listen to me talking about this lovely movie. House Moving Castle is a 2004 Japanese animated fantasy film directed by Miyazaki. The film is loosely based on the 1986 novel of the same name by British author Diana Rena Jones. Even though it's a love story, it also has a lot of plots talking about wars and the growing process for both of the main characters. For some of you who haven't watched the movies, the story is about a young girl Sophie who has an old heart inside of her by the mystery wizard Hal, and all the strange adventures happened after. Trust me, it's definitely a masterpiece that deserves to watch. And if you watched this movie already, feel free to leave comments and let me know what you think about it. I first watched it when I was really young, and honestly, I didn't remember that much except the handsome wizard Hal. But I just rewatched again last night, and it was quite interesting that I noticed some details I missed before. And of course, watching it as an adult, I definitely see things differently this time. There were a few moments that touched me, like when Sophie looked at herself in the mirror with a curse on her body. She didn't cry, but instead she tried to be positive and cheer herself up. Imagine if the same thing happened on me. I don't even know how I would react. And her kindness never changed, no matter what happened. Even when she faces the evil witch, she is still such a nice lady. And when she was how she's so shy and cute, but a little bit mean sometimes. Kind of reminds me of myself when I first dated my husband. Some people think that House Moving Castle is not for kids, and I would say the meaning behind it may can be only understood by grown up because you can see yourself in those characters, you feel it and grow with them together. Anyway, I try not to spoil too much, and I hope my introduction can bring you to check it out. And now come back to the cover page. This drawing actually took me more than two hours, and I had to take break in the middle because my hand was hurting too much. I remember last time I did such detailed drawing was a Chinese traditional architecture, and it was like six or seven years ago when I was in school. So basically, I used pencil to draw the guideline, roughly set up each section's location, and the rest is just to be patient and draw it little by little. You can actually see me kind of losing patience at the end. The strokes just get less organized and more messy. But honestly, I really enjoy the whole drawing process, at least for most of the time. It is pretty satisfying to see the castle slowly, slowly build up. And by the way, I'm not a professional artist, but I do want to share a few things that may help you if you are also interested in this type of drawing. 
First, don't feel bad of using pencil guide, especially if you're new to it. You can go with as many details as you want with pencil and also fix as many times as you need. Second is to take your time to practice repeated straight lines on separate paper. It was actually my first lesson when I went to architecture school. Try drawing straight line without ruler, different length, different angle, repeat and repeat until you have better control of your hand muscle. Another important thing is that you need to train yourself to tell the difference between your work and the original. Being able to say where is wrong can bring you to the right direction. Okay, the castle main body is pretty much done. Then I use O1 fineliner to highlight the structure a little bit more and also adding some contract. Then join the ground and give some texture to the sky. I made it pretty simple because my hand was really tired and had no energy to add more details on the rest of the page. But I think it turns out not that bad. By the way, I'll upload the digital version of today's bullet journal spreads to my Patreon community, where you can download this spread and use it in your journal. As a monthly subscription, you can find more bonus content and vote for my future Bujo theme. All tiers start from $1 and your support will mean a lot to me and this channel. So after a short break, I'm going to the next spread. I pre-cut the page so I can define the front and back page, but as you can see the pencil guide, here I have Hao holding Sufi and protect her with his big wings. Japanese manga is always an important part of my childhood. I even went to learn Japanese because of it, and my human drawing style was heavily affected by Japanese cartoon. I remember drawing super big eyes of a girl like almost take half space of her face, but of course those are more like TV cartoon style. Oh by the way, I just remember my friend Mochi Bujo did a Japanese manga theme in January with its traditional material screen tone, so if you're interested, don't forget to check it out. To be honest, Miyazaki movie was not my first impression about Japanese animation. It was Conan and Dragon Ball. If you know what I'm talking about, then we share the same childhood memory. But because of the high requirement of the quantity, those TV series are interesting, but in the meanwhile, not very well made in terms of how detailed it could be and how good the movements were captured. So when I first started watching Miyazaki's work, it was like a whole new world to me. I even bought a lot of books about making animation. Of course, Disney also has a huge impact on me at the same time. Anyway, even though I didn't get on the path of being a professional manga artist, I'm glad I can still draw freely and share my work and thoughts with you guys. Now after using Arteza black gouache paint to color the shadows, I'm going to add more details and make her feathers more puffy. And then on the previous page, I decided to draw a very simple calendar as monthly view page. I know I already mentioned that before, but again, it just feels so good to have perfect four weeks. I tried out a new layout in my own bullet journal for February, so in this setup, I really enjoy making it in the traditional way. As for each block, I use 5x5 five five if the number helps. On the back of the other side of the wing, I write down go and note, and then use the rest base on the right side as brain dump. Now let's move on to the next spread. And like always, I have habit tracker and weight log. As for the layout, I keep using this X and Y axis style. X represents date and days in the week, Y represents habits and weight numbers. This time, since I have some leftover pigment, I just use washi tape to set up the boundary and black it out with squash. And it turns out so much quicker than using brush pen. Then I use white gel pen to write down the dates 1 to 28. And I'll leave the rest to fill up by my husband later. Now let's work on the creepy but cute scarecrow. Again, I draw the outline first with O2 fineliner pen. Use squash pen to black out his hat and clothes. Then use white gel pen to highlight the tuxedo collar and pants. The next one is mood tracker and it's also the page I'm most excited about. If you watched my Halloween Bujo theme last year, you'll remember I drew 31 ghosts and asked my husband to draw in faces based on everyday's mood. And this is the final look after he filled it up. So here I'm going to draw 28 these fire characters and let him draw in the faces again. Because there won't be legends, I'm super looking forward to how it's gonna turn out at the end of this month. So for the fire character, it is also from the movie and his name is Calcifer. 
He's the core of the moving castle, so basically you can see he's the castle itself. Then on the right side, I added in this gratitude page as requested. The original idea is to do it one line per day, but he wants this page to be more free, so I erased the vertical line and instead I decided to draw in another really cute scene from the movie, which is Calcifer cooking eggs and bacon. He refused at the beginning, but Sufi just put the pen on top of him and it was pretty funny. Let me quickly add in dates and now we're ready for the weekly spreads. If you're with me for a while, you know I love making Dutch door, and with this perfect 4 weeks in this month, how can I miss it? But first, let me write down to do on the left side, taking 7 dust space of column. And then I'm going to use Arteza brush pen to add some feathers like they just fall off from house wing. When it comes to irregular shape objects, I like using this brush pen because the tip is really soft compared to other pen like tumble brush and I can control it better to have thin or thick stroke as well as the pointy ends. After drawing in some feathers, the next is to cut 7 dust space on the red edge and also don't forget to round the corners. As for the weekly layout, here I choose one week per page, so each day has 5 dots of space, which is enough for my husband since he uses a separate digital planner for work and this will only be his personal tasks. Same for the next spread, one week per page. But if you have a lot of things to do, you can just use the whole spread as one week, and then it will be 4 sections each side, total 7 days maybe plus a note section. After weekly layout, I keep adding in more feathers and try to give it some motion feeling like they're falling from the red up corner. Then on the red down corner, I use a mouse stamp again, which will be perfectly shown on this page and the previous weekly spread. And before the final flip through, I'd like to announce the theme for the next month. March 8th is an International Women's Day, so I'm thinking about a girl power or woman power movie theme for March. There's so many good movies about it, and of course, same for Studio Gambly. Miyazaki made a lot of awesome movies with strong girls as the main character, but maybe I should take a break from it? Anyway, feel free to leave comments and let me know which movie you're thinking about. It could be any movie, and I'm also open to old movie like black and white style, because right now all I can think about is The Breakfast at Tiffany's. So I'll try to collect as many candidates as I can, and the final winner will be voted by my Patreon members. Okay, that's all I want to share with you today. If you like this video, please click like and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell so you can receive notifications every time I upload new videos. And I hope you have an amazing February. I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!